Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and this is beautiful. But before that, let's hear from our sponsors. In case you need ready-made presentation templates, then Envato Elements is the right choice. Browse through this amazing library of presentation templates for Google Slides, PowerPoint and Keynote presentations. The slides are easy to edit and customize. Download the presentation, edit the slides, fill your text, change the images and your presentation is ready. On Envato Elements, you can find amazing video templates, graphics, photos, 3D work, fonts, website templates and much more. Subscribe to Envato Elements now and get unlimited downloads. Link is in the description. If you are new to our channel, just subscribe to our channel, watch the videos. You will get lots of free slides to work upon. All the slides are free to download and you will learn some amazing PowerPoint tricks, tips and different design styles you can work upon. And also, let's begin with the tutorial. Well, in this design, we have to create folders and you know how the folder looks in your laptop and we have to design that folder but i would recommend not to design a very flat kind of a design and here we will try to create a more beautiful a folder which has some layers over it some shine some glossiness and it it, it should have that depth a shadow effect so so now we are going to create this folder and you can see we have inserted these rounded rectangles. So three rounded rectangles and creating a combination of these three rounded rectangles will create this basic folder structure. You can apply different colors here so that you can easily select the layers. Now let's fill the gradient color in this structure. So for that you have to select this first rounded rectangle and click on gradient and let's fill the gradient color in it. So here you can see we have used four gradient stops. Let's see how it looks then we will decide upon the number of gradient stops. So here I think three will look fine. So make sure the gradient flow is from top to bottom like this. and. On the top we have placed this color palette and now select the shape at the back and let's fill this dark color. Let's pick this dark color from the color palette. So now you can see the color is done, the gradient is looking quite nice but the overall look and feel is flat. So let's add some more uh, elements to it. So this is a rounded rectangle, make sure it is completely rounded from the corners for that. You can either zoom in or increase its height so that that yellow node is visible to make it rounded. Now fill the white color and increase the transparency above 65%. And let's do one more thing to add the glossiness to it to add the light effect. Just duplicate this top layer and draw this circle and we will create a shape out of it. Select both the shapes, go to merge shapes and click on intersect and you will get this shape. Fill the color, this dark color from the color palette, increase the transparency and place it on this folder. And send it behind this white shape at the bottom. And let's adjust the transparency, so I've kept it around 87%. Now we can do one more thing, let's pick this shape from the back and create a copy of it and increase the transparency. So this will create a background effect, a shadow effect and place it at the back and slightly move it upwards with the help of your top arrow keys on a keyboard. Now select all the shapes, press Ctrl G for grouping, go to shadow, apply the shadow effect 
increase the blur and the transparency. And then you can add the glow if required. So here you can you know experiment with different options to see the output. Now we have to create the right side of it and for that let's place it here and we will insert a rectangular shape and you can adjust the size it depends upon the number of rows you have to create so we will be creating four steps process so insert this rectangle and apply gradient fill and remove any outline make sure the gradient type is linear from left to right and we will increase the transparency to 100% for the gradient stop at the right so that it blends with the background now send it to back and then adjust its height So the base shape is ready and this will be the main diagram that that we will create so now let's add text which is pretty easy you just need to insert the text box here and write the flow of the text like for example if this is the first step so you can write either a or one or if you want to give some heading that's also fine so this is totally dependent upon the kind of topic you have or the information you want to present so you can definitely change the text boxes here and here we have increased the character spacing Now you can duplicate this text box and place it below the first text box and let's change the text here. So here you can write either A or the numbering you want to show for example 1. And now we will insert an icon here. So this is just a dummy icon. Let's place it here. So this is quite visible. We have to make it subtle so let's change this color to white and on the remaining portion we can add the text boxes to create the text and here we can place the heading and the subheading or if you have some numbers to showcase you can also do that So here you have to insert the text box and just write the heading of the text you want to write here and make sure to use the a designer font or a very good looking font and if you are using some branded template then of course you don't have much choices then you have to use the brand font also i would recommend that you decide your color palette before starting to design the slide and here we have placed the text box to write description and for the description we are using a different font it's a railway font and you can also do that you can keep a different font styles like for heading you can use a designer font for description you can use a very corporate clean font so you can play with that and make sure the text styling is uh, beautiful and and it, it, it is uh, very much readable easy to read in a slideshow mode now the slide design is done and the rest of the steps are pretty easy you just have to duplicate these add some aesthetic elements at the title and then your slide is ready so I haven't covered the remaining parts in this design because I want you to create your own style and your own designs so here is the final output let's see the output on a full screen mode 
and look at this this is looking really nice i hope you will like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and we will see you guys in our next video till then enjoy and do not forget to subscribe